A A P huge drop in earnings in June of 2023. Finally broke out. At this point, above the two hundred, and then dropped again. Actually, down to the um, initial breakout, and then went back, and then started consolidating. One, two, is that one, two, yeah, three maybe? Let's count this one. One, two, three. Um, let's see, April, oh, about a month, and then finally broke down. right here so let's take a look um this is the This is a 21 EMA and 55, so we're staying above the 21 EMA and then bam, and one below it. There's a push wick up and then a close below. So that's a bad sign. Actually, if you do this, it's even better. Mm -hmm. And then you can consider that a retest. Not really a retest on the daily, but let's see. Also, the volume is pretty high, and the retest volume is low. So, if we get the let's look at the one hour. So consolidating, consolidating, and then 516, it broke down. Try to come back up. All the lines are converging around here. So this is If you do this, it's even a little bit better. It's a little cleaner. That's actually a breakout and then a wedge breakout right here. Try to retest it. Has the this is a twenty one EMA. Doesn't work. Gets rejected.
go down to the five minute chart. Oh, I don't think I can see it. Wait back. Oh. Breaks down, try to come back up. It's the prior day high. Looks like it's about to take it and bam, just drops back down with a huge candle and pretty high volume. Especially on this one. And then it actually tries to hold above the daily VWAP. But this is already below the 21 EMA, but it's below the 21 EMA. Try to come back up again with a big volume here gets rejected again it goes down more so The 200, 200 EMA, it's the 200 EMA. And gets rejected. I guess this is a retest and it's not working. But if you look at the one hour, Say kind of say this, you can kind of tell that this is a retest. Breaks down, try to come back up on 517, and then a huge red candle afterwards. So I would get in after the retest doesn't work so maybe here uh, on the five minute let's see five minute i would do probably here Five sixteen five seventeen. Or you can do here. So after the break, pose back two hundred EMA on the five minute. Gets rejected again. Five twenty, let's see. So I can look at the one minute. Five twenty.
one minute. Breaks down. A pretty good rally back up. Goes a little bit higher and then gets rejected. Tries to stay above VWAP. Nope. And gets rejected. So on a daily, you can see that mm. can't really say anything about the RSI. I mean, this you can consider this as the retest versus this one. It's a daily retest. This is like the multi day retest because there's no, no more retest after that. So I would probably put the stop loss obviously right here. Oh, if I'm going in here, I would put it there. I'll put, I'll, put, I'll put it right here. Cause it break if it breaks up like this, yeah. Go in right here. Breaking down. Oh, this is the VWAP here. So probably, I will probably wait till it breaks down a VWAP. Well, maybe break of this. Retest. Yeah, probably here. This is consolidating here. And then break down, retest, and then break down. Yeah, I would do it right here. I mean, if you do it here, might as well do it here, right? But you don't know if they're going to pull back. Because this one, it's almost like you don't know.
So either you do it right here to break a prior high or prior day low. I think on the one hour it's better. This is the break. Or again here. And this is the stop loss. It's like one percent, one point five percent. That's three percent. One. Yeah, this thing throws people off because you're like, oh wow, it's coming back, but then nope, breaks down. So that's why you have to go in after the breakdown. You don't want to. And then retest here. That's a good, nice 7, 8%. 